underdog teams in the group. That doesn't mean they can't play. It's a very important game. Look, I think for Israel is a must win, starting the, the kind of the tournament off the right way. But for Nicaragua, this is a, a big test after facing a team like Puerto Rico, now facing a tough offensive team in Israel. So Dean Kramer getting warmed up and ready to go. This guy's got big league stuff. This is not a, a, a doubt why he had success last year with the Orioles. That ball is skied in the air to center field, way up there. Jock Peterson, who's playing center field for Israel, for out number one. Ground ball, tricky hop, and beautifully handled by Stubbs. The low throw picked out of the dirt by Mervis. I mean, Garrett Stubbs is a catcher who started playing third base. Let's count him one, two, three, four days ago. Here's Allegria. We didn't see him yesterday. Fly ball, center field. Jock gets back and makes the catch. That's a 12 pitch scoreless inning for Dean Kramer. Israel's World Baseball Classic is underway. Right hander Ronald Medrano starts for Nicaragua. Zach Geloff, you're going to be hearing his name sooner rather than later. On the ground, hard hit, but right to short. That's one. And the throw to first in plenty of time. Double play. Taylor Mann and it all starts with Medrano and executing the pitches. Israel has sent five hitters to the plate. Four of them have reached base safely. Well, for the first inning, this is a very big moment. Base is loaded, two down, and a full count. Lamar Way strikes out swinging. He got through it. Israel threatens, but they do not score. We go to inning number two. Still nothing, nothing. First base runner for Nicaragua. Going two to Melvin Devoa, the catcher. Got it. Foul tip held on by LeVarne Way. Strike three. So here's Alex Blandino, some of the most big league experience for a player on this Nicaragua team. A blue single out into right center field. Miranda will make his way to third. And Nicaragua has first and third with two down after the base hit from Blandino. The opportunity here, Sandy Bermudez, who had a couple good at bats, I thought, yesterday. Ground ball to second. Yellow flips to second for the force out there, and the side is retired. On the ground. Landino into a slide, pops up, and no. Foot was off the bag. The first baseman for Nicaragua, that's Colbert today. He thought his foot was on the bag. Great effort by Blandino, but called safe. That's a very tough play. Especially for that first baseman. Oh, I think he missed it. He missed the bag. A two down. It's a big moment right now for Zach Aloff. 0 oh 2. Two on, two out. Called strike three. And Galoff can't believe it. Second hit for Nicaragua against Dean Kramer. 0 oh 2. Got him with a fastball. Strike three. Good fastball up in the zone right there. I trying to overthrow it. First and third, two down. Colbert, who won a World Series ring with the Kansas City Royals. One two pitch. And he went. Strike three swinging. And some emotion from Dean Kramer to get through it. Two hits, no runs. I think if Kramer can get under 50 pitches right here, it's got to be a win. You got to send him out for the fifth again. And he struck him out with a fastball, did challenge him. So Dean Kramer, four solid innings on the mound for Israel. And this game here in Pool D, still nothing, nothing. Kind of porky delivery. I let that little two step. That's going to be a tough play if it stays fair. It does. And oh. he got him. What a play by Navoa, the catcher. That was beautiful play right there. Understanding the field, understanding that that ball's not going to go foul. More than not, you don't want to pick up that ball with your glove. You want to barehand it as a do or die play. As he's going towards third base, throws an absolute bullet and a gem. Two down. And we're seeing Ty Kelly now switching over to the right side. Got it with the changeup. So Ty Kelly goes down swinging. What a job by Leo Crawford. Two scoreless innings. Pitch very well. We go to the fifth in Miami. The sacrifice moves a runner into scoring position. Juan Diego Montez. He's got two hits already in his World Baseball Classic. Three two. He got it with the breaking ball right on the outside corner. Now Leighton comes up. Still an opportunity for Nicaragua to take the lead. That one is hammered to left center field. And that one all the way up against the bottom of the wall. Bermudez will score. Rounding second still going. Here's the throw, the tag. Out at third. Leighton knocks in the first run of the game and then gets thrown out at third base. Nicaragua's taking a 1-0 lead. Well, there's no secret for Leighton's success at the plate in the qualifiers he had a huge tournament 
and he has come up very, very big for the Nicaraguan offense and team. Now Jock Peterson's second look at Crawford, left on left. He beats the defense with a foul ball. Oh my goodness! Man, I thought that I, was fair. I thought that ball was fair. Wow, you can't, oh boy, you can't review that. I think Ian Kinsler's going to ask Andy Fletcher maybe if the home plate umpire can help him out. I oh think boy. Andy's yeah, he's calling him. This ball is fair completely. I know we. That's over the bag. Yeah, and, and it even oh, hit the line. Hits which the line. I think that's basically impossible. They gave him a double. Okay. And you know what? They got the right call. And Burvis, he walked against Crawford in the third inning, so he's seen this pitcher in this game. Chance for Israel to tie the game right here. That one is hit to left center field. Montez tracking, and he'll be called off by Valle, who makes a catch. Leo Crawford, just fantastic. Three shutout innings for Nicaragua, and they lead 1 0. Pressure spot for Team Nicaragua playing Israel. The bases are loaded with one out. Danny Valencia is going to hit Israel down by a run. Playing their first game in this World Baseball Classic. And a ground ball to short, could be two. There's one. Blandino's throw. Got him double play. One pitch, two outs. And Teir, understandably so, is pumped. Nicaragua still leads 1 0. Two down. Leton, who knocked in the only run of the game, hits this one out towards right center. Jock on the move, and he'll go into a slide and make the catch. Nice play. Good play, Jock Peterson at center field. Quick hitting for Richard Flyer. Nicaragua, though, still leads 1 0. Nicaragua, two innings away from their first win in their World Baseball Classic history. They lead 1 0. And guess who is on the mound now? The best player, most accomplished pitcher on this Nicaraguan roster. Their fans went nuts when Jonathan Loisica came out of their bullpen. On the ground, the second. Landino scoops it up, one away. The tying run in the scoring position. Spencer Horwitz, never been a big leaguer, still a prospect. Lined, sinking, and it gets down base hit. Here comes a pinch runner, Goldfarb. Here comes a throw way over the head of the catcher, all the way to the backstop. Israel's tied the game, and now they're set up to go ahead. What a moment. Horwitz delivers. We talked about it, hasn't had big league experience, but boy, what a moment for Horwitz right now. Wilensky, if you if you hit him, if you walk him, Israel leads. Bases loaded, one out. Little soft roller. Elijah bare hand flips home, and they get the out there. And that's it. The takeout of the catcher with his foot on the plate. And I think Nicaragua is going to at least ask the umpires to consider whether they might rule a double play here. It's very hard to overturn that into a double play. It was a bad toss. Toss that led him into the into the lane. Yeah. And Lavarway just dove right at home plate. I mean, there's not much. All right. I think it was a fair play. Play on. Base is loaded, two down. Stubbs, one for four with an infield hit. Last time up, had a good at bat and lined out. Stubbs to left field. Bernard going back. Still going back. He can't get there. One hop on the warning track and up over the wall. And two runs will score. Israel goes ahead three to one. Oh, Garrett Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs. Have yourself a day, young man. Have yourself a day. What a great at bat from Stubbs. He got another fastball. He did not miss it. Gillov on the ground to third. The throw across the diamond is there for out number three. But a three run rally against one of the best relievers in the world. And Robert Stock is going to try to get the final three outs here. And he's going through the heart of the order. Ground ball to short. Kind of tough hop. Picked up the throw. Got it. Chesler Cutbert. One two. He threw him and did he go? Yes, he did. That was a swing. Strike three. Nicaragua's down to their final out. Robert Stock, one out away from getting Israel another World Baseball Classic win. One two pitch. Slider struck him out swinging. Effortless. What an inning for Robert Stock and what a win for Israel. Now that's hard to believe. They would be down against Loisaga late, struggling on offense all game, and come from behind against one of the toughest guys in the sport.